Hosting a website for a startup or any business, it sounds like an easy choice, and it could be in the beginning, but with time, things get complex. And if you are not using the right solution, you might have security issues, availability issues, performance, or backup issues. What's surprising is that the top criteria to choosing the right hosting provider has almost nothing to do with the server performance. And in today's episode, I'm going to help you choose the right hosting solution that fits to your needs. Hi, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at MyCTOFrame, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. With this Startup Snack series available on both podcasts and YouTube, I want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. And as a CTO, I got countless of businesses that came to me asking for some help because their website all of a sudden were unavailable. So first things to understand when it comes to choosing a hosting provider is to know what can happen to your website once it's installed. Why a website can be unavailable, slow, or maybe totally erased in some cases. So the reasons could be could be a lot of different reasons. I mean, the first one could be hijacked. If your website is hijacked by someone and want to use your website to do something else. that In that case, it's usually due to low quality plugins, uh, outdated developments, or outdated version of your website. Secondly, the crash of the hosting provider. A server broke, there was a fire, power issues or network issues, in your uh, data center, in the data center of your hosting provider. The third reason could be a bug in your application that makes the website or the application unavailable. And the last one could be too much traffic. The server is saturated and unable to answer anymore. So to host a website, a startup per platform or any web application, what do you really need? In fact, there is a big misconception of what you really need. You might think that you need to choose between a shared hosting, a VPS, virtual private server, or maybe a dedicated server or a cloud hosting. Could be a private cloud or a public cloud. In fact, it was just, if it was just to run a website, a shared hosting or a VPS, a virtual private server, would be enough most of the time. Sometime for as cheap as just three or four dollars a month. And if you need more powerful solutions, almost anyone will recommend you to go either for dedicated server or cloud hosting architecture. But much more than the server, as a business owner, what do you really need? You need to ensure that your website is up and running and fast. And according to the issue you might come across, like security issues, hijack, bugs, etc., a faster server won't help at all with you, with it, I mean. In fact, Almost any hosting solution could be enough to get started. And if you have the time and expertise to really look after your website on a regular basis, I mean, doing daily backups, checking securities on a regular basis, and I, I always looking for ways to optimize the speed of your solution, etc., etc., etc. So now you might think, yeah, but if I am watching this video, I mean, managing server is not my cup of tea. And even if you knew how to manage server, What's the goal of a business? The goal of a business is to focus on what you are really good at, on what your clients need. And that's why when it comes to choosing a hosting provider, I always look at the extra services that are provided, such as daily backups, multiple environments, so that if you need to copy your website, edit a new version or restore an old version, you can do it on another URL, on another website. Automatic software updates, very, very important. Security features like web application firewalls, like file check on daily basis, you have monitoring, etc. And that's, for me, to me, where the main criteria are when it comes to choosing a provider. An automatic software update, optimized server and configuration for the software we want to use, and on the security features provided. And that's where the real value of a hosting provider is. It's not on the hardware side. That's even more important if you use open source solutions like WordPress, PrestaShop, or any other open source e-commerce or tool. If you want to do it right, your hosting provider has to be an expert in the application you want to use. 
You know, the capabilities of the provider to run this type of application effectively and securely is the top criteria because that's what your business needs in the end. You don't really care about the amount of CPU, the amount of RAM, as soon as your website works and it works fast. And you know, application well optimized can be 10 times faster on a small server than with a powerful one not optimized. So coming back to the main choice, the main question, what should you consider? So for small and starting businesses, shared hosting or VPS are enough. And for scaling businesses, dedicated servers can be the easiest way to scale, while cloud hosting will be limitless and provide much better reliability and scaling um, capabilities on the long term. But in both cases, dedicated servers and cloud hosting, it will be it will be a bit more complex. I mean, it will require a team to handle the security and the software updates because that's your own architecture in that, uh, in that case. And that's why, unless you have specific needs like artificial intelligence, video processing, or anything else like that, that really required your own architecture, I mean, I mean, shared hosting or VPS are usually enough. Last but not least, there is one more criteria, the legal constraints to choose. I mean, um, if your project is in the health industry, the banking industry, or anything, any specific industry that has some requirements, you might need to keep your data in the same country as your clients, for example. And if that's the case, it can force you to choose one provider instead of another, just because of that criteria and the specific requirements of your industry. So in conclusion, don't choose a hosting provider just based on the CPU or the RAM. It doesn't make sense anymore. Choose a hosting provider based on the level of master, if he really master the technology you need, that can really, and if he can really provide the extra services like backups, multiple environments, web applications, firewall, and security monitoring solutions. That's really what is required when it comes to hosting a website or any startup solution. If you enjoy learning with us and want to see more, consider subscribing. Help us spread the world by hitting the like button or by sharing with your entrepreneur friends. Now, if you have any question or want to suggest a topic, feel free to comment down below or you can also check out our website to learn more about our program and how you can join. See you.